Previously on Fort Mang's Emblem. Passing through the ancient forest, Wei Fu brings them closer to the Scrubland border. I shall do my best! You're not talking about the same monster that served the ancient social justice demon. <laughs> Little Missy is right, Gregor can see many baddies with his own eyes. Oh my god, we could like S rank Sluis and Claire together. That'd be. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> Come on, crit him! Yes! Biggie, 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 biggie. Welcome to the Fort Mang's army. You better thank Lady Claire later, kiddos. Achoo! Oh, Gregor is sorry for interruption. You've never heard of the great Hurian of the peerless beauty, La Rochelle? No. Sick burn. <laughs> that was the thing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem, uh, the Fort Mengsoning. Uh, we are about to head into uh, Dorcas, of Dorcas, in Dorcas. And apparently, this chapter is really hard. An ominous wave of terrors washes over the continents. Manx's journey to find Metadash grows even more perilous. Still, he presses on despite the danger. His will is strong. The town Dorka is located on the border of Fort Manx and Scrubland. The people of both countries have long used the town as a meeting place to discuss the Fire Emblem Heroes metagame. It stands as a testimony to the cooperation the two nations have shared since the release of that game. Now, however, Dorcas is teeming with Scrub Troops! Dodo's Bizarre Adventure! <laughs> oh yes, it's Devil Knight Bartra. I love this guy. Ah, there's an ar arena in this town. Excellent! There isn't a better place in the world to hone my newfound powers. Now I only need to find a worthy opponent. Hey, watch where you're going, mate! <laughs> Sorry, I got no time to waste. I have time to make my way out of this place. Ah, the hell are you talking about? As I said, no time to waste. So long. Ah, and there he goes. That is a pity, because he seemed pretty strong. I, the Bartra, have a fine eye when it comes to powerful warriors, after all. <laughs> Speedy Barsalus, I bring orders from His Majesty. Rumors has it that King Magnus is making his way to Scrubland. He will have to stop here to resupply sooner or later. You are to find him and place him in custody immediately. Yes, sir! Consider it done! One more thing. According to our reports, the son of a former Fort Manx general lives in this town as a woodcutter. Find him and bribe him to our side. Be cautious, though. We don't know what he's capable of. If he tries to flee or act suspiciously, you're allowed to apprehend him. Yes, sir, General Har, though I have a question. Why would King Manx infiltrate our territory? Our intelligence has reported that Metadash is currently hiding somewhere in our country. He burns our crops and attacks supply convoys that vanishes, vanishes into the night. We're having a hard time finding him because most of our troops are still in Fort Manx, but also because our country is large and full of forests. <laughs> Manx probably wants to find him, join forces, and then retreat to Canada. But I think that is not the only reason. By doing this, he's also sending a message to us. But as long as he draws breath, the war is far from over. Understood, sir! We shall do our best, sir! Hmm, King Manx, they say you make fun of us edgelords on a daily basis. We'll see if you're actually worth all this trouble. It's been so long since I last visited Dorcas. I clearly remember the harmony in which both people of both countries live. This town used to symbolize that peace between elitists and scrubs was possible. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? A pity, if I have to be honest. And now this place is firmly under the thumb of the new scrub avatar. Mangus, listen to me. This place is not heavily guarded. That means that either most of the army is still stationed at our capital, or, or that they're hunting Meta Dude down. Now take a look, see? The west gate is under man bend. Pardon me, I if I may ask you a question. Oh, right, that's not Ogim. <laughs> Who's that? Sure, ask away. Hmm, this guy seems familiar. I'm looking for someone. Have you seen a young woman with purple hair and rabbit er ears? Rabbit ears? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Hmm, thank you, sorry to intrude. Was that guy on crack? <laughs> Strange, she didn't strike me as insane, but... Get him! Don't let him escape! That way! He went that way! This day keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let's see what the commotion is. Dorcas Do Dostar, surrender peacefully. Come quietly and Commander Boris might still give you a possibility to switch sides. Oh no, the scrub soldiers are after me. Whatever shall I do now? Seriously though, you guys aren't threatening at all. You elitist piece of filth! How dare you mock us when, we're, when you were the one running away in the first place? 
The thing is, why should I waste my time dealing with you casuals when I could be doing something else? Like finding King Manx, for instance. That's it, kill this cocky bastard! Haha, <laughs> so long, suckers. Out of my way, the scrubs are after me. Huh? That voice, your face. Dorcas, is that you? You knew my father? Of course I knew him, he used to be one of my greatest generals. But this means... Save the backstory and exposition for later, we got company. Alright! So it's time for this chapter. The boss is Boris, and he has capped speed. A simple commander of scrub... <laughs> a simple commander of scrub landing in charge of the border patrol. Honestly, I didn't get this meme the first time around. Wow, he has seal skill. I, I don't get it now either. He has capped speed. I think someone pointed it out in the comments, but this is actually a meme that I'm not able to explain. I know that I've given Fosky in Order of the Crimson Arm the Boris voice, but... Um... But this was here before that Let's Play, so I honestly don't know what sparked this. Uh, we also get a new character, we get Dorcas. Uh, he is a pirate now, I think he used to be a fighter before, didn't he? Because with a hatchet and a hammer. And he is, I think in the lore, he's the son of Natalie, Norcus, Dorcas and Natalie. And he actually has rally strength as a personal skill, that's really cool. Let's take a look at his growth rates, 90% strength, wow, 70% skill, holy shit, that's really good. 30% speed, 35% luck, 25% defense, 40% resistance, and 70% 70 hit points. He certainly seems a lot better now than he used to be. Now, of course, if I have to explain the Dorcas meme to you, you're on the wrong channel. Um, alright, we can't deploy all that many guys for this one, actually. Holy shit, um, we don't want Nino, obviously, but I, I do think... If I remember correctly, there are, there is something stealable here. I might be wrong though. Uh, there is an onion we can steal. Is that worth bringing Makoto for a single onion? I don't think so. Let's go. Now, nah, goddamn it! I got my ass handed to me in the arena. Grr, this really isn't my lucky day. Also, I couldn't find that guy from before. A shame. I would have liked to fight him fair and square. You there, are you a mercenary? Uh, sorta, maybe? I don't know. I'm really, I'm more like a... Okay, whatever, I don't care. Look, give me a hand against these elitists. You'll be rewarded properly for your services. Now get in line, you fat ass. The fuck you call me? Oh, you just made a big mistake. I'll take you all on. <laughs> and he becomes green. Are you the tradition of this group? Listen well to what I have to say to you. If you value your life, do not enter the arena. I bet 1,000 gold that you're going to do it regardless, you horrible person. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm gonna enter the arena. Alright, so we got Bartra, a strong warrior from Alib. His ultimate goal is unknown. He is a devil knight. His personal skill is smite. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, that's good. Holy shit. So yeah, the joke here is, this is from my recent Fire Emblem 7 let's play with Mecha, the remastered one. Uh, I used Bartra because I wanted to recruit all the guys, and that requires you to level him up to level 5 so you can get Karla. So I was kind of stuck with him. He got really tanky though. He, I think by the time we reached the Dread Isle, he had like 12 or 13 defense, so we called him like Armor Knight Bartra. And then of course, we had the infamous episode where he crits himself with the Devil Axe and dies. Probably one of the funniest Fire Emblem moments I've ever had on the channel, honestly. And so, Devil Knight Barcher is born. Um, not sure how good he is, though. Can he use the Devil Axe? Uh, nah, he's, he loses quite a bit of speed from it. And his luck... I don't know what his growth rates are until I recruit him, but... I think that Devil Axe might be better on Manx, honestly. Oh, and here's boy. Hello there. Did you come to see me dance? I'm sorry, but I just finished a few moments ago. Oh, by the way, would you be interested in one of these items? A wealthy senator from Begnion left me a large r ransom gift after watching me dance. He claimed that my performance allowed him to catch a glimpse of true beauty and perfection. Anyway, take this Duma shield. Wealth is useless if you can't bring happiness to others, right? Hey, don't look at me like I've grown another head. So yeah, boy, <laughs> boy is uh, from my first Fire Emblem 6 PME. Where we had a dancer as the main character. And we even, like, I think that was the first time we actually made a custom portrait in the PMEs. Alright, so we gotta get Dorcas in range of uh, Bartra. I think you should be able to recruit him on, like, the second day. We also wanna rescue all the buildings if we can. Uh, and I think I'm actually gonna send Boswin over here. I think, yeah, there's, like, archers and javelins here. He can probably do pretty well here. 
So yeah, I've, I've heard that the arena is not fair in this uh, hack, so... That still doesn't make me <laughs> not want to go there, though. Anyway, I'm gonna reposition Ogim in range here. What kind of uh, weapons does these guys have? They have an Iron Sword, Steel Axe, Steel Axe. I guess I'll just do this. They're probably gonna go for Barcher anyway. Oh, actually, no, they're going for Ogim. Holy shit. Nice. Nice. Oh, cool. I'm doubling them, too. Fast Ogim is fast. Okay, shit, they really want to go for Ogim. I don't mind, though. This is great. Anyway, if I can kill that guy, I can recruit probably Bartra on the next turn. Holy shit, they really want to go for Ogim. I guess he could have died here if he was unlucky. Oh, shit. The mercenaries in this hack are fast. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Crazy. Now, hopefully, Bosswin's gonna take on both the Archer and the Javelin Soldier. Oh, no, shit. That guy attacks in melee. It's fine, though. Bosswin can tank him. There you go. He needs three shots to kill this guy, though, sadly. So, I, I seem to recall there being, like, a Javelin. I think that Soldier... Oh, no, he doesn't move. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Bartra. Oh, shit, I remember this. There he is! For many years, I waited patiently for a good opportunity to end your life. Now, King Mengs, I will tear you hard. I <laughs> tear your heart out of your chest and offer it as a gift to Sakazuki. I'll make you regret refusing my admittance into the army. Yeah, Amelia is here. Oh my god, she has a stealable red gem. Now I want to bring Makoto. Well, I guess it's too late now. So yeah, Amelia, she's a bad unit. Amelia's a bit of a meme in my community. Uh, I usually kill her in most of my playthroughs, and in the first Fire Emblem 8 PME, she was actually the main character. She was an Amelia that could summon other Amelias. <laughs> and yeah, so now she's come back for revenge. And she's a pretty scary boss, actually. A really scary boss, if I remember correctly. Um, but we'll just let Manx take him on. Or take her on, I mean, sorry. Sorry for misgendering. Now, is Claire able to kill this guy? Probably not. No. Look how fucking fast these guys are. 12 base speed. Holy shit, that's crazy. Anyway, um, if I kill this guy with Orson, then I can recruit Bartro the next turn and we can check out his growth rates. Hit points. Strength and speed. Orson's actually leveling up pretty decently. I think I might just keep him. Tch, you're that guy from before. What the hell are you doing here? Aha, it seems like my luck is finally turning around. What is your name, boy? I am Dorcas, son of Dorcas the Dorcas. By Nagas, tits, you're Dorcas' brat. Huh, were you acquainted with my dad? Of course, I'm Bartra, Bartra the Brave. Your father was one of my comrades during the Blazing Campaign. Tell me, where is he right now? It's been a while since I last saw him. Mom and Dad are in the Elysian Summer Out Realm. I didn't go with them because, well, we both know why. Haha, <laughs> I bet Dorcas and Natalie are really going at it now that you're away. Please, can we not talk about Mom and Dad? This is making me really uncomfortable. Now tell me, what are you doing here, fighting the scrubs? Ooh, these idiots? They call me a fat ass. I wanted to beat them senseless on my own. But, since you're the son of my best buddy, I'll fetch the blue uniform real quick and give your group a hand. Don't worry, Dorcas. Uncle Bartra's going to show you how it's done. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see, Dorcas and Bartra. So let's check out his growth rates. 50 strength, 35 skill, 40 speed, 30 luck, 40 defense, 25 resistance, 85 hit points. Ah, eh, he's alright, I guess. Although I, I still think that the Devil Axe is way better uh, left to Manx. He's got a nice palette, though. I like it. Looks like a golden knight. Yeah, Manx can make really good use of that Devil Axe, actually. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Um, we can kill this guy. And we probably need to do that, or else he's gonna flank us from the left-hand side, and we don't want that. 
Now, at some point, you're gonna get some brigands spawning going for the villagers, so you do need to hurry a little bit. Um, if Mecca repositions Sarah here, we can get her in range to heal. There's also a shop here that I want to visit. Because it sells staves, which we really need. Now, we gotta be careful here, because I'm pretty sure, yes, Luis definitely gets doubled by these guys. So, if we want to do this, then we don't need to kill him, but there's an... Oh, boy, there's an archer here and everything. Um, this isn't great. Oh, we have Claire. Never mind. But, of course, we also have an archer here, so we gotta be careful. So, we want to attack her from here, if at all possible. Okay, if we deal 14 damage to this guy with the lance, then I think Luis can kill him. Hey, don't 6 to 9 my waifu, please. And then we'll do this. Yeah, that works if we hit, which hopefully we will do. There you go. Perfect. Still haven't seen her proc adapt. Probably won't see it for quite some time, I can imagine. God damn it, I hate mercenaries with buffed growth rates. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get doubled by this guy. But luckily they don't do that much damage. God, I really wanna visit the arena. <laughs> I really wanna visit the arena. I know I shouldn't, but I really wanna visit the arena. Alright, good job, Manx. Nice. Now I can deal with Amelia. She's pretty scary. She's got a lot of crit, if I remember correctly. She's also fairly beefy, but she doesn't have any luck, so if you can crit her with the Puji, Oh, shit. Nah, we're good. I'm still somehow expecting the archers to double me, but I know they won't. Alright, good job, boss win. Nice. Okay, so if I, I I can take down the fighter on the next turn, and then I can still kill the archer. Here you go. Tell me the truth. Tell me that it felt good to mock me, to spite me, to humiliate me. Why do I ask? Because when I'm done tearing you to a thousand bloody pieces, I will tell you how it felt. <laughs> oh my god, I could have gotten crit there. Oh shit, she doubles. Holy shit, I could have died there. Ay. Ay ay ay. This this girl is pretty scary. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna fuck off from here. Slim Lance. What's her speed like? Wow, she's 14 speed. That's crazy. Oh wow. Alright, we gotta try to kill her. Nice! Good job, Orison. Good job, Orison. Nice. Nice. Alright, maybe Manx can do it now. If he can hit. Oh my god, I'm actually doing it. Okay, I think, uh... Claire might actually have... Ooh, okay, no, not quite. Uh, what if I... Mm, I think we're gonna give this kill to Mecha, actually. Let's use the slim... Oh, wow. Really? Okay, come on, hit her. Hit her. There you go. Uh, no, this isn't over. I'll be back. I'll be back. There you go. Almost half a level for Mecha. That's pretty good. Her contribution is uh, solid. Alright, so we'll go over here now. And we'll kill this guy. Hopefully the archer will leave us alone. I do sort of miss Oswin's accelerated EXP gains a little bit though. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, he won't kill me. Shall we try it? Let's try it. Let's try it. No! Devil Axe so inaccurate. Goddamn Devil Axe. Alright, let's try to hit this bloody Merc. There we go. I think Ogim might be able to kill him now. Possibly. But first, let's heal. Oh shit, I could have, uh, I need to, I, sh I should rally strength more. I'm not used to playing this hack with skills. Um. Alright, this should be doable. If we hit on both of these, which we should. 
But yeah, I gotta keep in mind that I got Rally Strength. It's a really good skill. But yeah, this is what I mean when I say this hack has a few too many, um, a few too many axe users. You get Orson, you get Mangs, who's the Lord. You get uh, Bartra and Dorcas, all within very quick or all within very uh, short time of each other. So you kind of get a little bit overwhelmed by axe users. It's kind of hard to decide which one to pick. Yeah, I know you can have multiple axe users, Pitfall, blah blah blah, but still, what the hell? Oh, I rallied instead of visiting the village. That's fucking wonderful. I wanted to visit the village, not to rally. So I guess the rally command is actually above visit. That's interesting. Hit point, strength, skill. Alright, I would have preferred speed boss win, but I guess I'll take it. Alright. Let's go actually visit the village now. Fup, 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 fup. Oh my naga, disgusting! Nope, mind fup me, I'm just having some good time. Oh, before I fup, forget. See that sword? Take it. I don't know how to fup, use it. I'd rather handle my personal weapon. <laughs> fup. <laughs> nice. nice. Everything just gets better with Mecha saying nice. It's so funny, I love it. Alright, how do we go? How do we do here? Pretty well. Um, not like Bosswing can die here, am I right? Now we do have... I think I might just give Dorcas's hammer over to Manx, honestly. So, what if we do... We do, we do need to heal up. And I know we're gonna get attacked by brigands from the right at some point. There we go. Um, and then we can use Ogim to kill this guy. But not quite yet. Let's see if we can deal with this guy first. We could try to use the Devil Axe, but <laughs> I know it's gonna come back to bite me at some point. Alright, that should be a kill for Agim. There are some soldiers up here though with steel lances. That is sorta of scary. But Agim's a tanky boy, he can deal with it. Hit points, strength, and defense. Alright, I guess we can go visit the village with Bartra and then Mecca. Orson, you can go visit the shop. Oh shit, these guys hit pretty hard. Holy shit. Or holy drit, as monks would say. I never actually said holy drit, but it's actually a pretty funny line. I like it. So when does those brigands show up? Am I just playing really fast or what? It should show up pretty soon. Okay, I guess not yet. Uh, Alright, so we can have clear. I can't remember if I want to visit the armory or not, but I want to start weakening this guy. I don't think he starts moving until you actually get within his range, so I could theoretically just pick him off from here. Alright, let's go visit this house. In my youth, I used to be an adventurer like you, but then... Ah, you really thought I was going to say that one line, didn't you? <laughs> Serves him right. Uh, <laughs> cheat codes. <laughs> oh, that's going to Manx for sure. Oh wait, I can I can attack this archer with Claire now. See, so, yeah, that was a clear reference to Skyrim's arrow in the knee. Oh, I remember that meme. Ancient meme history right here. Hit points, skill, speed, and luck. Could do with a bit more strength there, Claire, honey. Oh my god, it's the girl! <laughs> no, 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 sir. <laughs> you ask no money. I wonder if that's what she says if you have no money. You ask no money. You are old man. Um, okay, so we definitely want another heal staff. And then I think I'm gonna pick up a lightning tome just in case. And a fire tome in case Luis runs out. You never know, right? Alright, let's go. Man, I want to visit the arena so badly, but I, I just know that I might get trolled. But man, I want to visit the arena. 
could try sending Mecha in there, I guess. Hit points, strength, and resistance. Bum, 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 bum. Boar should be fairly easy to deal with. Oh shit, don't tell me I get doubled here. She only has 6 speed, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think only mercenaries will double me at this point. But where are the goddamn brigands? They should be showing up by now. Oh, good job, Claire. Holy shit. Nice job. Ah, here they are. Oh my god, Cavaliers. Did not expect to see Cavaliers. Um, okay, so I guess we can do... We can do a rally now. Yee. Although I am a little bit out of position, but... Should be alright. I still got Mangus and the Puji, so I don't honestly think I got all that much to worry about. Um... I do need to heal, though. Let's see, Orson's all the way down here, too, which kind of sucks a little bit. But yeah, I'll just send Manx up with the Puji. He'll kill them all. So, what I can do here is I can put Manx up here and then just one shot this guy. Man, goddammit, the Puji is strong against cavalry. Holy shit. And yeah, I think I'll give the cheat code to Manx. The extra skill will probably help him out. Uh, and I think I'll send Louise back here. Oh, wait, she, can she kill this guy? She can. I think I'm gonna give it a go. I'll just use Mecha to stay on the front lines with Manx. There we go. And I'll do this. Shrug a Javelin. I do sort of like the new reinforcements this map has added. It's pretty cool. Alright, and then it's gonna be Augim, I think, who deals with those guys. So, oh wait, uh, no, Dorcas will be fine. But equip a sword. There we go. Oh, cool, I forget I can smite. Does this guy have a javelin too? Yeah, he does. Even an armor slayer. Oh, wow, okay. Holy shit, alright, so what can we buy here? Ooh, steel swords. Definitely want a steel sword. Can I buy steel lances too? Yeah, definitely want a steel lance. Uh, and a steel bow for boss win. There you go. Perfect. Already have a steel axe. I don't really feel like I need more of those. Yeah, holy shit, armor slayer. That can really fuck up Bartra. That's not nice. Hit points, skill, and resistance. Nice. And here comes the bandits. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna trade over the devil- or sorry, not the devil axe. I'm gonna trade over the- oh crap, I still have the slime lens. Oh well. I'm gonna trade over the hammer to Mangus and just bonk the boss with the hammer. I do sort of want to enter the arena though. I really want to enter the arena. Oh man, I really want to enter the arena. I know it's a terrible idea, but I really want to do it. I want to enter the arena. <laughs> we can send Dorcas into the arena. Let's send him into the arena. Let's just uh, hand over his equipment first and see. Oh no, we need we need. To uh, can we enter the arena without a weapon? I'm actually not sure. I don't remember. Let's see, yeah, he, he does double me, sadly. Because he has kept speed for some reason. Oh, wow, holy shit. That's not good. That is not good at all. Uh, okay, will this guy be able to kill now? So we'll just visit the village and fuck off. There's something wrong with this place. It feels like somebody's watching me. I shouldn't be here, huh? Why are these torches lying on the ground? Nice. Ah, right, because in the original house, Amelia's here. Yeah, that's right. 
Alright, um... Probably gonna try to kill this guy. Or at the very least, like, I don't know. We gotta shield this guy from Claire. Because I want him to go for boss win, if at all possible. Um, let's see. Can Mecha kill this guy? Would be nice, honestly. Is it Silverlands time? Yeah, it's Silverlands time. I just want to kill the guy. And then I'm gonna put Ogim in front of Claire to protect her. I'm gonna protect the Whammon, after all. Very important. Oh yeah, he still goes for Manx. Enemy of the Empire! Death is too good for you! Wow, what an interesting boss battle. Oh, he seals skill, but it shouldn't have any effect on Manx, since his skill is so low anyway. There you go. I think we got everything. Yeah, we got all the villages. Hit points, speed. Okay. Ogim's not getting the best of level ups, honestly. Oh, hi there, brigands. Um, okay. Alright, I'm a, I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking send Dork Acid here. I'm a fucking send Dork Acid to the arena. I'm gonna see what's in there. I wanna see what's in there. Alright, Bartrat. I need you to smite him so we can get him in there. Alright, let's go. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager 950 gold? Oh! 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 Oh, get out! 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 No! No! Oh my god! What happened to Dorcas? God, let myself die here. Someone has to. Oh no! Rip Dorcas! Rip Dorcas! <laughs> Rip Dorcas. Hit points, speed, luck, resistance. Wait, don't you get like an alternate ending if uh, Natasha dies in Sacred Stones? That's gonna be interesting to see. So yeah, that's what happens if you go into the arena. Fell murders you. He murders Dorcas. Okay. Dick move, but I, uh, I understand. I was warned after all. Oh shit, alright, let's go. 36% hit, this is lovely. Yeah, this is just wonderful. What could possibly go wrong here? Yeah, I think we're just gonna reposition Manx away from here, honestly. What kind of weapons does these guys have? Iron Axe, Iron Axe. Honestly, I think uh, Puji would probably be better here. There you go. Oh no, he's gonna steal Mecha skill. That is actually sort of a big deal though, because that is 12% less hit. Which does kind of suck a little bit, honestly. Alright. Yeah, we should get Ogim here, actually. Oh shit. Oh, this is actually sort of bad, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Both of them are not gonna go on uh, Mecha. Okay, that sort of worried me a little bit, because Boris might go after Mecha. It's really annoying, though. How the fuck do I kill this thing? How the fuck do I kill this thing? I mean, get getting Claire and uh, Luis up to him might be good. But he probably doubles. Uh, he doesn't kill, though, so maybe it's not all that bad. Gotta try and kill the guy. Nice! Okay, that's really good. That is really good. Good job. And then we can bring Claire down here. Maybe she can, like, chug a javelin at the guy or something. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Six to nine. And then we can throw a Puji at the guy. 
Okay, I might be able to kill him, actually. Hmm. Okay, if I... I can heal Mecha. Oh, wow. I could attempt to do this with... Okay, Augim's actually a pretty safe bet here. Yeah, Augim's a pretty safe bet here. Uh, what if I use my Steel Axe to try? Okay, no, it actually has... Wait, really? It has 10 Might? No, it has 11 Might. Okay. Hmm. Just want to get the last bit of experience before I end this, but no, I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'm going to kill the guy with Augim for sure. But I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to kill him from here. Nice one. I have kept speed, how could I lose? No! He did in fact have kept speed. Well, did it. <laughs> this let's play is not going to last for long if we keep losing units left and right. Hey, it's not my fault, maybe. I don't know, my real safe is playing. <laughs> I don't know if my real self is playing this train wreck. So, reset. Hey, you. Yes, you. The one who's pressing the A button to announce the text. Could you like soft reset? Or even better, close the emulator and go play Fortnite. <laughs> Trust me, it's for the greater good. Oh, really? Should I reset? Maybe I should. Okay, I actually ended up resetting. <laughs> um, I actually talked with the Fort Manx Emblem team to see if Dorcas was needed for something. Oh, nice one. Apparently he wasn't, it was nice. just sort of a joke on their part, but yeah, I just to be sure, I did reset just to get this ending. But at least, hey, I got to showcase both endings, which is kind of funny. And that's the whole story. I see. I knew I was a potential target, so I tried to sneak past their patrols in order to reach Canada and maybe find you. Apparently fate had other plans for me. Holy crap, you guys are facing quite the challenge, aren't you? I absolutely must join you, and won't take no for an answer. Ha 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 King Mangs, the same goes for me. My father taught me how to use an axe. I know I'm not a professional soldier, but neither was my father at my age. Allow me to fight in his place. I can understand your purpose, Dorcas, but you, Bartra? Why do you want to join us? To get stronger, of course, for reasons that I'd rather keep to myself. I must become a master of the axe, and the fastest way to do it is by fighting day and night. Besides, this young lad just happens to be the son of my best buddy. I have to make sure he survives this whole ordeal. Sure. At any rate, what's our next move, your highness? We need more information regarding Meta Meta's recent activities. If I have to make a guess, I'd say that he didn't stray too far away from the border. After we enter Scrubland, we will do some espionage. Rumors, clues, sightings, whatever works. We must find him before it's too late. A moment, please. Are you perchance uh, King Mengsh? I am. Your Highness, thank you for protecting us from the bandits and driving off the casuals. Those fiends treated us with brutality and contempt. As much as it pains me to admit this, we cannot linger here much longer. We don't have enough manpower to hold this town if the scrubs decide to swarm us. I'm afraid that our enemy will be back soon and reclaim Dorcas. Don't worry on our account, my lord. We will survive and wait for the day of liberation to come. Until that day comes, we will wait, unbowed and filled with hope. Now go. Quickly, before the scrub sends more troops. May Naga watch over you, King Manx. Nice. Ah, we get a Master Steel. That's nice. This hack has Master Steels instead of uh, various promotion items. That's nice. Okay. Next up, it's time for the Gaiden chapter, Gaiden chapter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like and a comment, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye. What happened to Dorcas?